SunOSAF just released a new update on its system, and this one is not a small one. Let's say that if you have bought a Sonos device in 2016 or before, you may be an affected customer by this update. Why? Because it's the first time that Sonos abandoned a series of products. Let me explain. You may already have realized that the Sonos application on your smartphone have already been renamed Sonos S1. And that is because this app marked the end of support of some old Sonos devices. Sonos have just released a new app that you can find on the Google Play Store, on the Apple App Store, and on a Sonos website if you want to download it for Windows or Mac. And this one is simply called Sonos, like the old one. I will leave you the link to those application in the description. What that means is that update is optional up to a point. Because if you own one of the following device, a zone player, so a ZP80 or a ZP100, which is the first generation of what we call today a Connect and a Connect Hemp, the one who have the blue stickers on the back. If you have the gray one, it's all fine for you. You're not affected. The CR200 remote, which doesn't already work very fine with the latest update anyway. If you have a bridge, the predecessor of the Boost, or if you have a Sonos Play 5 of the first generation, well, even if that device have been discontinued only at the end of 2015, well, all of these products are no longer supported by the new Sonos application. So in English, what does it mean if you have one of these unsupported products is that, well, you will be still able to control your Sonos system as you have always do, and that for probably the next few years at least. However, if you want to buy a Sonos device from the latest generation, that means any product that will be launched from June 2020 or later, such as the Sonos Arc, the Sonos Sub of third generation, or the Sonos 5 of third generation, well, those new devices will only be compatible with the new Sonos application. How are you starting to understand where it's going to? It's that the latest Sonos update forced some customer to get rid of their old devices if they want to get new ones. And I hope they are ashamed, because until today, Sonos has proven that they were able to support their older devices. If you want to keep your older devices and get new ones, well, you will have to control your new ones and your older one from two different applications. This means you will no longer be able to group all of your speakers together and play the same thing at the same time, which doesn't really make sense because it's the Sonos trademark. But this problem is only if you have some older devices that are not compatible with the new update and you want to buy new ones. Otherwise, you're fine. To launch the update on your system, you will only have to download the new application, log in with your email and password. If you forget it, you can see that video just right here. I will help you with that. Then your system will update as any Sonos update. So it will download, apply, the music will stop and it will restart like any Sonos update. And you will see the new Sonos app is almost the same as the old one, except everything is a little bit darker. Finally, here is the list of devices that are not compatible with the new Sonos application. Here are the devices that are compatible with the new update. And here are the devices that are only compatible with the new version. Oh, and be aware, once you have done the update, you can't go back. You are on the new Sonos application. That's it. Oh, but note that if you own one of the products that is abandoned today, well, Sonos offer you a discount on a replacement product if you accept to destroy the one that you have at home. That means that as soon as you accept the discount, well, you'll see a 30 days timers appear on your device, at the end of which your device will stop working. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. 
For example, if we want to replace a first generation Kinect Amp for the very last, they offer you, as today, a $195 discount. To get a port instead of the first generation of Kinect, it's $135 discount, and on the Play 5, it's $150 off. To get these discounts, see my link in the description, and I'll take you to the right page. Note that what I think it's really sad in this story is the end of support of the first generation Sonos Play 5. Stop supporting a product is something that any electronic company is forced to do one day. For example, we would hardly see Microsoft support Windows 95 in 2020. Or nobody could be mad at Dell if they does not support today the same computer that was supporting Windows 95 in 1995. Well, things evolve. The task is more complicated to handle year after year after year. So at some point, well, it is normal that an electronic device is stopped to be supported one day. In my head, an electronic device should be supported at least 10 years, at least. And it's the same principle for Sonos. On the other hand, what happened with the Sonos Play 5 is that it's a device that have been released in 2009, so it's 11 years old. But it only have been discontinued in November 2015. So some people have purchased this product because it was still on the store shelves in 2016, and they now have today a four years old product that is no longer supported. And this is unacceptable, especially for a product of this price. Finally, if you want to order a new Sonos device, by knowing they will probably not be supported forever, well, you can do it directly on the Sonos website, which I think is the best place to order it, directly from the manufacturer. Well, you can use my link in the description. I'll take you to the right page. Note that these links are affiliate, so I receive a commission for every transaction fulfilling the required conditions. This update is rather new, so take a look at the description. I will leave you a note if any new information comes out, and I will maybe even do a second video to do a follow-up on this one. And the link will be, well, just right there, if there is any new video. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there, it's from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.